Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another Yester Tech Talk. I'm Jason. So good to be here with you guys. Well, today we're actually going to talk about something new, and I'm pretty sure you guys already heard about something from Yester. It's called YCM, Yester Central Management. Exactly the new platform. And today we're just going to talk about another new solution based on this YCM. It's going to be the hardware remote management solution. That's it. So as we know, previously we got this YCM solution launched, and that's pretty awesome. We can use YCM to manage all of our cloud PBXs. Well, besides that, we can also use it to manage our hardware PBXs as well. Well, but remotely and securely. That's exactly what it is. And I think enough talk. Let's just jump in. I will show you guys more details here. Have a look. First of all, what you're supposed to do there is just do the same thing. Take your Yaster Partner ID, jump into your Partner Portal because everything is based on the Partner Portal, right? This time, everything is just centralized. So jump into your Partner Portal on the left side corner. You guys can see Yaster Central Management. Now we're gonna go access it. Okay. Now jumping to the central management, first thing we have here is going to be the dashboard. Uh, this is so intuitive to be very honest. Whatever you want to get from the system, like uh, your hardware PBX working status, some notifications, uh, anyway, the detailed information you want to get it there, you go check on the dashboard. It's so clear, right? And as for how do we get started for the hardware remote management, this might be your question now. It's pretty simple. Go check on the My Subscription. And you guys just need to scroll in down a little bit here because on the top side, that will basically be the subscription status of your cloud PBX. But today we're talking about the hardware. So you go check on the bottom side. Here you can find remote management connections. So exactly how many connections do you have there? You go check on this place. That's it. And next step, make use of your connections. Now we just go click on device and we will have my devices. This is just a panel for you to figure out this remote connections with all of your, you know, hardware PBXs, which are deployed in our end users offices. That's it. So as you can see, currently I got a two hardware systems registered on this platform already. I got a P570, I got S300 registered on it. So another question, how do we figure out the remote connection with those hardware PBXs here? Pretty simple. On the left side corner, you guys can see here's a blue button click on it and you will have the pop-up on this pop-up you will just need to enter something here uh, i guess you know this is kind of like a fill in the blank right so we will need to drop something to make it clear like a device name connection type and also you will have something called comment depends on you all right and one more step here is going to be verify serial number and mac address well to be very honest this step it's optional if you want to make it be more, you know, more specific, you can just enable this. And uh, later on, you're supposed to enter a very particular serial number uh, in MAC address of your hardware PBX. But like I said, it's optional. If you don't want to enable this, that's also okay. Uh, when you click on save, later on, we're going to get the authentication code. So this code, you can take it on any hardware PBXs for the remote connection. And one more step, just don't forget to jump into your hardware PBXs to finish this part of, you know, registration. That's very important, okay? Now, let's get back here. Uh, how do we make use of the YCM for this remote management of our hardware PBXs? Take a look. You guys can just go click on visit button here. Uh, when you click on that, this platform will just help us to generate this encrypted private tunnel for the remote connection. So next time, if you need to have something like maintenance, troubleshooting, or configuration, Anyway, you go access this place. And by the way, it's not just like an encrypted tunnel only. We also give you guys this particular option here. You can even make your encrypted tunnel be valid for a particular duration, depends on you. So according to our default configuration, you will be able to have 30 minutes available. And if you need more time, you can make your selection here, of course. And another step here is, what if I don't want to, you know, keep this tunnel open all the time? Now, for example, I give you guys an example. Let's see, I'm going to go access the system directly right now. Let's see, I need 30 minutes for the troubleshooting now. So I can get this particular URL, which is the encrypted tunnel for the remote access, right? Now, if I already finished my job, I need to cancel it. I need to close it. What now? 
Now you can get back to your remote management portal here. You can just go click on this button, which is gonna be visit button. You click on it again and you will have this pop up. So two options are available for you. Number one, reset access timeout. If you need more time, you go change it here. And number two, disconnect. Just like I said, if I don't need it, I wanna close it, I can just go click on this. So this tunnel will be closed. That's it, really easy to use. And one more thing we have here is gonna be the group. So if you have a bunch of customers, they're located in different cities, uh, you wanna manage them with the easier way. You wanna make it be more specific. What now? Now you're gonna go access the group, create a bunch of groups. Uh, for example, like what I did, I got a city of New York, city of Los Angeles. I also have Beijing, Shanghai, couple of cities here. So I can definitely assign those PB access in different groups. Make it be more specific. It's gonna be much easier for me to manage those hardware PB access, absolutely. Okay, and one more thing, the last one really matters. It's gonna be alarm, right? I'm pretty sure you guys now have a big question is, what if there's something wrong happens on those register hardware PB access? Can I get the notification from this platform? The answer is absolutely yes. So what you're supposed to do is you can go check on alarm here. Uh, I think you guys can go click on alarm settings first. So you can see we have so many alarm issues. Uh, those items, you can choose to enable the notification for them one by one. And actually we mark them with different levels. We got something important, we mark it as a warning. Something serious, we mark it as alert. And something may not be that important, we just mark it as information. Depends on you, enable the switch, turn it on, and then set the notification context over here. Check this guys. You can absolutely create a notification contact here and next time, whatever happens, you're gonna get notified, absolutely. And by the way, another thing is gonna be this alarm list. So you can also take a look on this panel directly, figuring out what was going on on those registered PV access. That's it guys. So I guess that was all we have for this particular you know remote management solution for today hopefully everything's going to be clear for you guys and if you need more information you can check on our website www.yaystar.com and one more thing guys if you're a new member of this yaystar community uh, for example you're a new partner for yaystar well you can jump into our partner portal just go check on it because you will have one free remote connection so give it a try there all right and uh, by the way, if you want to apply for this Yaystar Partner ID, you want to jump in, what now? Now you're just going to jump into our website. Again, www.yaystar.com. You know, simply just apply for Yaystar Partner ID there, okay? All right, so that was all we have for today, guys. Hopefully everything's going to be informative for you. And don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, same as Euro. And I think that's it. I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.